Hi, this is Dale, the spyware prevention guy again. Well, now that you've actually downloaded, installed, and tweaked your Nod32 antivirus, whether it's a trial or you've already purchased the full version, let's go ahead and see how Nod32 works in action. With that, let's go actually to a website called icar.org and download a test anti-malware file. Now here's a link for that. And if you scroll down, you see some download links here to several different versions, some .coms, text files, zipped. Anyways, uh, pretty much any one of those should do. I'll go to the first one, icar.com, and watch what happens. And particularly, look what happens here to the lower right and what happens to this website in general that we're looking at. So here we go. I just clicked on it. All right, the internet connection was just reset. So we broke that internet connection. That was because of Nod32 protecting you. And over here, ESET has just quarantined this file we attempted to download. So it just did its job. Now I'm going to go here to the green eye and I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go to the quarantine folder. And there you see it. Now the object name was from the web so it actually shows the website address where it was coming from and it actually gives you a reason and other times what you're going to see here is if a file actually got on your computer you're going to see a location like C users your profile name and you know the f they just keep drilling down the folders until they get to where the files physically located uh, that information can be of use because if it wasn't able to complete re completely remove the infection, you can at least find the location and go browse to it and get some information about that file. Uh, th the name that you'll see here can actually also help you because you might actually have to go to ESET's website and download a specific tool for that name. Now there's another test file that I like to use called uh, SpyCar. This one's more of a an anti-spyware type file and they have several here we'll just go to this first one uh, they got some pretty neat test files here where they actually try to go make changes to the registry where the other one was we were trying to actually download the file from the internet so here as you can see it just did its thing Nod32 just did its job it protected you from that infection now had you been downloading music or whatever, you were on some unsuspecting bad website and you just downloaded something, you didn't know what it was, you didn't even know it was an infection, and you went to go double click it, you would have just been infected. And things would have just gradually got worse from there until you found some product that possibly might be able to remove it for you. But as I always say, the name of the game is prevention. You need to have this protection on your computer first because once you're infected and then you try to put on protection it doesn't always go so well the first job of malware is to take down your antivirus products so it might make it very difficult to actually even install one or it might not even run very smoothly if you were able to install it so there might be some prerequisite things you have to do before you can even install this product and if you don't have the skills to do that, you might just find yourself hauling your computer into a local computer shop. So please, get, an, get a current antivirus program on your computer, keep it updated, learn how to use it, and run it often. With that said, this is Dale, the spyware prevention guy. Thank you, and bye-bye.